What's up people? It's your boy Andrew FAQ here with you with another video. Today I'm going to be breaking down why men, men are still the prize in today's society. Let's get to the video. Number one, women have limited options. They have limited options on what men they want. I'm going to break this down even more. I know today's society is Women are getting DMs for all different types of people so they think they have abundance of options. That is not true. They are very selective on the guy they want. These simps that are giving them these validation on the internet, on the road, those are the guys that they do not want. We have to become somebody for you to even become an option for a woman. Women are the choosers of sex, we understand that. They choose who they want to sleep with but they don't choose who gives them a relationship. Women get it all, they get confused on the guy they sleep with. So, they say they sleep with a top tier man. They think that's their, that's their level. It's not, because that guy is not giving them an attention. Yeah, they clap your cheeks, they have sex with you, but is that guy giving you the ultimate goal, which is a marriage, a ring? Is that guy making you his wife? If you're not doing that, then she don't have the option. She's thinking she has options because men, let's, let's face it, sleep with anything. Most men will have sex with you. You're pretty, a man will have sex with you. But how many guys are going to give her a relationship? That's why they feel like they have options. But guess what? As men, the reason why you're the prize, you have to become somebody. You've got to get in physical shape. You've got to make sure your income's right. You've got to make sure you're, you're financial stable before that woman's giving you, give you a look in. Once you become that person, guess who has more options? You do, because guess what? There's many pretty ladies, yeah? And there's not many guys that are physically in shape, financially dependent, well off and knows how to look after himself. Once you become that per guy, guess what? Your options are going to increase. Let's flip it now. If a woman now becomes financially dependent, becomes uh, income increases, guess what happens now? Her options gets limited because she's looking at a guy that's either taller than her, better shape than her, earns more money than her. And guess what? Her options becomes less and less because now there are not many guys that are earning more than her because now she has she, she hit a certain bracket in life where not many men are even in that bracket so guess what as you earn more money as you became more better shape you can go date a girl that's working at mcdonald's as long as she's pretty you don't even care but guess what a woman gonna go date a man that's in mcdonald's if she's working a ceo job more times she's gonna be like no she ain't gonna give you a look in she's gonna go look for another guy that's other entrepreneurs owning businesses and guess what that guy may not even give her an option you might look at the, a younger girl or a girl that's even working at McDonald's. That's what I'm saying. Men are still the prize in today's society. Don't get that twisted, guys. You need to become more physically better, financially better, emotionally better. And guess what? You're going to have an abundance mindset. You're going to grow and become better. Listen, all around. Number two, women want a guy that is better than them. I mentioned this in my previous video. A woman always gonna want a guy that's taller than them, in better shape, earns more money, emotionally more available, emotionally you know, knows how to look after himself. Women's always gonna want a guy that's better than them. So, in that saying that, us men, we have to become, we have to become that guy. There's no, if you're not that guy, then she's not gonna give you a look in. We gotta become physically better, emotionally better, financially better, but for her to even you be giving you an option. So guess what now? When you become that person now, you're going to become more and more valuable to her. So now she sees you as, oh my days, I've got this, this guy now because you take all her boxes. Us guys, we're simple, we're simple. We don't have many boxes to tick. As long as she's pretty, loyal, we're good. We don't care about her income because we know, we really know her income's for her. But we know we have to procreate. We gotta make sure that we are the financial stable so we can look after her and our family. But women, no more times, they're not gonna be in a financial situation to look after a man long term. Yeah, maybe short term, but for long term for women to provide for men, I guarantee you that relationship is going to swindle, it's going to break down eventually. Because women are not designed to look after men long term. And I'm not saying obviously in a relationship sometimes you might get into a relationship and you might go to a rough spot and the woman takes over. Yes, she's gonna look after you, look after you for, let's say months, even years. But guess what? If you don't become that man that she fell in love with, she is eventually going to get tired of you. That's why, with us men, 
we can financially look after a woman. That is our job. We're not thinking, oh my days, I need a woman to earn money. We're just thinking, I want a woman to look after the household, the kids, while I go and make that money for us. That's why men are the providers. We provide and protect, women are nurturers. They're not designed to look after men long term. You've got to become that man. You've got to become that man to look after her. That's why you become more better, you have more options because there's limited guys that are doing these things. So make sure that you become better overall. There is no escape plan for men. Listen, <laughs> men, if you are a failure or a loser, no one's coming to help you. You have to become that man. If you failed in life and you become homeless, there's no government coming to help you and put you in a shelter. They're gonna be like, that's another one that has failed or there's another one that's lost, lost it all because he never, he wasn't stoic, he never stayed, to it, stayed true to himself. Women now, they have, marriage they can get married a high value man and they have the option to if they go if they get divorced option to take half and they can also level up from there they have government to help them if they are mothers or if they are single mothers they'll have a place to shelter but men we don't have that option you have to become that guy listen guys i can't stress the importance of you working hard so you don't end up in the streets and in pri prison you have to become stoic. You have to learn how to be financially dependent on yourself. You have to learn how to manage your money, manage your finances, investments. Because if you fail in life, there's nobody coming to save you. There's no one coming to save you. I had to learn that the hard way. Listen, I've come from the streets and I made sure that I had to find a way to break out of that chain. There's no way that I'm gonna allow myself to fail. It's, it's not in me, I'm not gonna allow it. I have to, I'm hungry for this. I know there's no one, there's no one coming to say, you know what, Andrew, here's, here's, a, here's a say, let me save you, let me help you. There's no one coming to do that. If I fail now, that's on me. So, God forbid that I fail, I'm gonna make sure that I grind. So, guys, you have to work hard. There's no one coming to save you, work hard. That's why you become more valuable. You have options, guess why? Because once you build all yourself up, you put your finances, your physique, mental, Spiritual. Once you build all those five things up, you're gonna have options. Guess why? Because not many men that have it together. So I'm keep telling you, make sure you focus on your goals. Don't make women distract you. There's always gonna be hot women. There's always gonna be pretty women. But there's not only many guys that have this shit together. So stay stoic. Stay hungry for it. Be hungry for it, man. I'm telling you now. Once you pass that barrier and you grind hard. Your, the war is your oyster. You have it all. You're gonna have it all. Trust me. So stay on your purpose. You're the prize. Don't make nobody tell you different. You are the choosers of who gets a relationship. Women choose to get sex. Yeah, we understand that, cool. But you choose if that woman becomes your girlfriend. You can choose that. Because all these simps that are giving them her a validation saying, oh my days, you are beautiful, you are sexy. They, she don't want that guy. She wants the guy that is hard to get. She wants the relationship from you, bruv. You. So make sure you stay stoic, you're hungry for this, and I guarantee you, you're gonna have an abundance mindset. You're gonna have all these baddies coming for you. And guess what? You get to choose which one you're gonna take serious and which one is just for a quick one. You get to choose, guys. Top woman will share top men, but top men will not share anyone <laughs> let me break this down if you look at celebrities yeah, celebrity males that are thriving in the industry drake chris brown leona capro they have an abundance mindset these these guys have women on circulation on rotation guess why because top women will share those guys how many drakes and chris browns are there like think about it there's not many drakes and chris browns leona crapples that are out and about but there's many models supermodels that are around trust me so there's not many top men going around. So these women are happy to share the top percent of men, but men don't share women. Once you're a top percent man, you're not gonna share your woman. <laughs> you're gonna have your woman share you. You're gonna be like, listen, I, there's many you, but it's not many me. So you know already, once you become that top percent man, there's, <laughs> you're gonna have a bonus mindset. You already know that, okay, girl, there's, there's not many guys that are out here like me. You know that? But you know there's another supermodel, pretty girl, submissive girl, just like you, around the corner. 
that's why they'll start to act appropriate they'll start to go on your jump on your train start to listen to you because they know that over oh, days i don't want to be replaced by this guy i still want him to treat me as a part of his girlfriend because i know there's not many guys that have this level of status that have this level of look that can look after me because there's all these guys out here that give me validation not, are not the guys i want as my man this is it so when you know this and you become more valuable to yourself you become the top earner your big is right trust me you're gonna have the abundance mindset you're gonna you're gonna run this once we become that guy the world's our oyster like i said before Drake, chris brown they have an abundance mindset women are happy to share them why because not many chris browns and many drakes there's not many of them out there we know this so that's why they're happy to share them be on their boat with them be on yachts and could they know that oh okay i'm happy just to be around this guy but when a woman becomes a top percent woman her like beyonce rihanna her market value has gone so high now so the guys that she gets can't be lower than her okay rihanna settled for asap asap rocky yeah he earns less than her but guess what he still has the power because he's, he can go get another girl that's pretty Rihanna, she can't go get another guy that's like an ace at Rocky. Not many guys are, are ace at Rocky. So he has the he has the power, even though he's making her like she, she's walking around and making him look like the, the female relationship that we've seen in, in previous posts, in previous um catalogues. You got ace at Rocky holding the baby and Rihanna holding his hand. That's all for publicity. The person that runs the relationship, we all know, is ASAP. Yeah, Rihanna earns more than him, but he has the leverage in that relationship. I'm telling you that from now. Because men, once you become something, you're gonna be have the leverage in that relationship, regardless. So stay stoic, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Click and subscribe button, guys. Enjoy it. Listen, join the team. We are growing as a community. We're gonna keep leveling up, keep focusing, building ourselves up. Till next time, guys. Love you all. Peace.